another edition of the Business and Personal Podcast. We bring you closer to the people that you do business with. And today we're excited to have Abigail Turner on with us. She's the uh, co-founder and a senior solution specialist for Inspired Advisors. And uh, she's on here to talk about what kind of led her to working with seniors and helping them with Medicare sign up and uh, you know how she can help you. So first of all, Abigail, thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me, Ryan. It's really good to be here. So I always love letting people know about folks like yourself that are there to help seniors with Medicare sign up. So many try to do it on their own or just take advice from a family member without talking to an independent, I should say expert really, or specialist, you know, someone that knows the stuff inside and out and is gonna pick that right plan for them. So um, happy to, to let people know about you today. And, and I guess, first of all, what led you down that path of working with seniors and helping them with Medicare selection? Yeah, so several years ago, my husband and I, he had actually been the one to recruit me into the insurance business. And we've been doing more of a focus on, you know, life insurance and small business and things like that. And we were approached by our company saying, hey, we have this Medicare season opening up. And my husband had done Medicare years ago, probably about 15 years before that. So he knew he really enjoyed it. Um, I'd never had really much experience with it at all. And so we we jumped in and had our first Medicare AEP annual enrollment period uh, back in 2018, and I was hooked. Um, we hoped to meet with 30 people during that time and ended up meeting with over 130 people and immediately saw that there was a huge need, uh, that people were very confused, needed help, wanted help. And so we started building relationships then accordingly, you know, just within our community, within the companies we represented, you know, who were the people that they needed to get helped as well. And could we be a resource? Could we attend events for them? You know, things like that. So um, I think that's really, it was just an eye opener that first year to see just how many people A, are on Medicare, but then how many of them really are confused and need help and want help and are just looking for someone that's not gonna try to sell them something, but are looking for someone that's gonna really walk them through and navigate that maze. So here we are. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly it. I mean, I look at you as more of a stress reliever than a salesperson. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, how often do you meet with folks uh, that maybe have signed up on their own before, or it's their first time signing up in any event, it's a stressful uh, experience every year. How often do you see just huge relief when they get through oh. the process? Absolutely. I mean, that, and that's my number one goal. You know, at the end of the day, I want people to feel like this is way less confusing than I thought. And when they came in up here, you know, the anxiety and stress level of just like, oh, I just want to be done with this. This is too much. And to be like, oh, well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. You know, it wasn't as hard as I thought. They make it harder than it should be, right? You know, and that's really the goal that I have at the end of the day is that they really feel that that they felt confident that now they could make a good decision, didn't have to go it on their own. I was just there to help clarify things that were confusing and make sure that it was clearly understood. You know, what are those options? What are you paying for? You know, what are what is it covering and not covering and the pros and cons of all of it so that they can then make the right decision for them based on their financial needs, their lifestyle, uh, budgets, all of those kinds of things that come into play with health insurance. So. That's always the hope is that they feel that way. And so many people don't know you exist and uh, just figure, OK, we mm -hmm. got to you know figure this out on our own. And, and oh, by the way, they just have to pay you attention. And the amazing service you offer is no charge to them. Um, yep. So when you've worked with people, you know, when you're working with people right out of the gate, you're able to get them in the right plan right away, of course. But for those that have maybe done it on their own for two or three years, what are some common things you see that you're able to put them in a better plan that saves them money? Where do they go wrong usually? Yeah, there's a few places. You know, sometimes people just, they're choosing because that's what my sister, my mom, my neighbor had, and it just sounded good. I liked what they were telling me, but it wasn't anything that they really researched themselves. They just kind of called a 1-800 number, you know, went online, did whatever. Um, but really didn't pay super close attention to maybe some really important details for a lot of people. That's doctors and medications. 
Um, when we're dealing with plans that have networks, that's hugely important. Um, but a lot of people can get distracted by the what I call bells and whistles, right? So all the other things, and they forget to take into account, is this going to cover me well? You know, is this going to take care of my primary needs well? So that's often something that people will do. Or they may, on the flip side, if they're paying a premium for something, they're paying a really high premium because it's a name that they recognize. It's a company that they think is a better company because it, it is a name that's been around or is a familiar health insurance name. Whereas when it comes into the Medicare space, you know, we have dozens and dozens of companies that offer those plans and they're all the same. You know, they're regulated by Medicare at the federal level, not by each company or state. And so overpaying is absolutely unnecessary. They're not getting any extra benefits by paying higher premiums. And so we really encourage people once they've, if they've had that or been in that situation, well, let's take a look, what can we save you? You know, what are you paying right now versus what, what is available to you, but you never looked at it because you didn't know, or you just went straight to a company that you were familiar with. And here we can offer the exact same thing for 20 to 50 or $60 less a month. You know, I mean, there's some significant savings that happens just in comparing other companies. So I would say that's really, you know, thinking they have to do it on their own or just going with what they've known as opposed to really looking at all their options. Because within the Medicare space, I mean, we are not used to having a literal hundreds of options combination available to us, right? When you start looking at all the different plans and types of options you have, there are tons. And so it gets really overwhelming. And that's really where my goal is to, to kind of relieve that overwhelm. To say out of our 20 drug plans, there's one that's the right fit for you, right? Out of the eight supplements and 40 companies that offer them, there's one that's gonna be the right fit for you. Out of the different Medicare, other plans, like we've got one that's gonna be a good fit for you, right? So making sure that we're just helping them navigate that space um, and taking taking away the uncertainty so that they have that confidence they've made the right decision moving forward. You know, they may have, maybe didn't make a bad decision before, but maybe it wasn't the best and we can help them fi figure that out. And when I think about it, everybody's at a different stage in life or would have different trigger points mm -hmm. of when they would need to use your services. So let's start with the people that are not quite 65 yet, but getting close. When should they really start zeroing in on it and uh, think to call you to, to start to plan everything out? Yeah, so that turning 65, if that person's still working, you know, that's one thing. We do a lot of price comparison for them where we'll compare what Medicare looks like versus their employer coverage. Uh, in our area, it certainly varies from place to place, but I'd say about 75% of the time, Medicare is actually a more cost-effective option than their employer coverage. Now we have to take into consideration our dependents covered, you know, do they have a younger spouse or anything like that that also needs the insurance, right? There's a whole lot to that. But I would say three to four months before their 65th birthday, even if they're planning on continuing to work, reach out. We'll be happy to do, there's certainly no obligation to that cost comparison. And we'll let you know, keep the, keep the work plan, don't keep the work plan, here's why we would suggest Medicare and they can reach out at that point. Um, HSAs, I'll kind of just make a little segue. If someone has an HSA, a health savings account that they are contributing to, they really want to reach out at least six months ahead of time. Um, there are actually some IRS tax regulations related to having Medicare and an HSA that we need to make sure that they're navigating well. So six months if they're doing an HSA. Um, so that would be the turning 65, you know, just let us do a quick search for you. Make sure that what you need to do is either keep your insurance coverage at work or make the switch to Medicare. Um, if they're already drawing Social Security at 65, they're going to automatically get their card five months before they turn 65. Most of those individuals are not working. So call us when you get your card. You know, we can start that process. We've still got a three month en enrollment window before their birthday, but we can at least get the ball rolling and get those appointments scheduled, get them on the calendar so they can have that peace of mind that it's being taken care of. Um, and then the retiree, I'm going to say if they can give us, you know, three to six months, again, HSAs are part of that reason. 
six months is kind of a magic window on an HSA, six months. Um, but if they don't have an HSA, probably a good 90 days is a good rule of thumb. Uh, there's a little bit of paperwork, a process to go through for those that are over 65. And that will usually give us the time that we need for Social Security to do their part um, to get Medicare set up for whatever their retirement date is. So the goal is to have it done. They go to bed that night on their employer coverage and wake up the next morning on Medicare have their cards, have all their information, have everything that they need, and it's just a smooth and easy transition. So that's really where those time frames are helpful. Well, I know you're a good podcast guest when you already answer a question I haven't asked. My next question was going to be people that are working still at age 65. Okay, so you, you answered that without <laughs> me even asking. So uh, I appreciate you keeping the, the podcast on, on task here on time. So um, Perfect. I guess the, the the other group of people I'm thinking about is maybe someone's watching this podcast. It's the middle of June. They're 68 years old. They have been doing it on their own all these years. Oh my gosh, I didn't know someone like Abigail could help me with this. When can that type of person reach out to you to uh, take a look at their plan? There's always an opportunity for a phone call, right? I mean, I encourage anybody and we'll get those calls and, and just do some kind of quick little fact finding to find out if there's anything we can do at the moment. You know, there are some plans that can be reviewed year round. Um, we've just got to go through, are they going to qualify, health questions, things like that. And we can potentially save someone money right then and there, you know, by looking at those plans. Um, other plans, of course, do have a timeline. So we look at the annual enrollment period every year, October 15th through December 7th. That's the annual opportunity for people to look at their Medicare plan that they currently have and potentially make changes if need be. Um, that's going to specifically be related to Medicare Parts C and D, your Medicare Advantage and your prescription drug plans. Those plans don't have health questions or qualifications. It's just your opportunity to see if what you have is what you want for next year. So calling us August, September, quite frankly, to get on the calendar is really important for that time of year. We send out notices to all current clients in August and September to start giving us a call to get their schedule, get their appointment scheduled. So that is not too soon. Um, we are definitely building out our schedule at that point. So I would say call anytime because there are some things we can look at year round. Um, but then there's also that window if it falls within that time frame, um, then give us a call late August, early September, and we'll get you scheduled. Well, the beauty of the podcast world and modern age is, you know, we're going to put this out there and anybody anywhere could find it and listen to it just from, you know, searching online and um, sure. that, that might be interested in working with you. So let people know exactly the areas that you are licensed in uh, that you can work with. Yeah. So as far as the insurances, you know, we can work with anything related to the Medicare space and we are licensed currently um, in about 22 states. Um, but we also add states as requested. So if we have someone that is either a referral or calls in and says, hey, can you help me? The answer is yes. You know, we can get licensed in just about every state without any issue. Those are typically a 24 to 48 hour turnaround pretty simple outside of a couple of states that take a little bit longer. So um, we will help anybody anywhere. You know, technology, that's the beauty of it at this point, right? It makes that really easy to do. We can look up the plans, doctors, medicines, pharmacies. I mean, all the things that require that little bit of legwork, we can do it and we can do it nationwide. So um, as far as the types of products, we work with all of them um, and work with almost every company that offers them. And then, you know, statewide, we're in almost half of our, our 50 states and can certainly add states if needed. So we don't have any hesitation in doing so. If someone wants to meet with someone locally, we have some partner agents around the country that we can refer them to if they'd rather meet someone face to face, which I can appreciate. I do. 95% of my appointments, uh, 90 maybe, face to face, you know, but I love Zoom. I love things like that because to me, it's a, a good close second. We're still able to see each other and have that conversation. It feels a little bit more personal rather than just a phone call. So um, we'll be happy to help anyone anywhere. And if we can't, uh, it's very likely that we know someone who can. Fantastic. Well, I always like to close with a success story. So you've already kind of alluded to saving people a lot of money here and there. Uh, is there a particular one uh, without getting too 
far into the details, but uh, one that stands out that was really heartwarming for you to help somebody out. Yeah, you know, we had a couple, I'd say probably three years ago that um, they were paying close to $8,000 in premiums. Um, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, you look at retirement and everyone's on a fixed income, right? Some have prepared more than others, you know, and have more than maybe just social security, but there are a lot that don't. And $8,000 just in premiums is a, a huge amount of money to be paying out. And with our review, we went through everything with them, talked through their options. We were actually able to save them about $6,500 on their premiums. Um, so it didn't make it zero, you know, there's still out of pocket costs. We know nothing is free, uh, but we were able to legitimately keep in their hands about $6,500 and they're thrilled. You know, the plan is a great fit. It's a policy they didn't even know existed. And they've been able to utilize things out of that plan that they didn't even know they had access to. So, you know, I think that's probably one of the most rewarding parts is a lot of people, A, they don't know we exist, but B, they don't even know what all their options are. They've just kind of gone with what they've had their mom on or, you know, what they've unfortunately maybe heard on TV, you know, things like that. And they really didn't ever have anyone just simply take the time to educate them. And that education, how do you make a good decision without it? Um, and they're really thrilled to be able to say, okay, now I feel confident. Now I know what I've got. It's what I want. It fits me and what I need. And so, you know, being able to walk out of there saying, you've got a good plan, great coverage, and go take a vacation now, right? You've got a good vacation at $6,500 savings. Like that's really exciting and very rewarding. See, this is why I love working with Medicare agents. What other industry can someone save you $6,500 a month and you don't have to pay them anything for that expertise? That's unbelievable. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah. uh, well, it's, you know, it's our goal here to connect more people with Inspired Advisors and um, fill your pipeline up with more success stories like that, Abigail. So what is the best way for people to get in touch with you? Yeah, absolutely. So they can give us a call at uh, three, our local area code 316-369-5253. Uh, that's the phone number that they can reach us at. Um, we're inspiredadvisors.com. So it is plural, inspiredadvisors.com. They can see us there, find us online. Uh, and that's also going to be available on Facebook. Uh, we have YouTube. We've got Instagram, you know, all the socials. Basically, they can find us there as well at Inspired Advisors. Fantastic. Well, keep up the great work, Abigail. And uh, thanks again for joining us today on the Business and Personal Podcast. Thank you, Ryan. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.